consider myself swung glass vase rich at the moment. I'm rich in swung glass vases and I like it that way. Okay, we're here at the shop today. It is Thursday. Um, Ashton and Juliet are tubing with my dad. That sounds like a lot. I was really apprehensive about it. I was really anxious about it. Lots of things make me anxious and the idea of my children tubing on a creek. It's not a river. It's a creek, but it just, it gives me anxiety. So, um, hopefully everyone is safe and they wear their life jackets and everything is good. Even though the water is probably only one foot deep. It still applies. Um, so the kids are with my dad. Uh, Laurel is with uh, her babysitter, well, the kid's babysitter, um, for an hour or two. And we're going to hang out here at the shop. I've got some work I have to get done. Um, we're going to head in and see what we can find to work on. <laughs> here we go. All right, well, Shelby is going to be in this afternoon, so I want to make sure that I have some space for her here on the shelves. It looks like I have a little bit of space, not as much as I would like. Um, I think she should be okay with processing and putting stuff up here. I think I'm going to take these glasses home. I originally bought them for my house. They're like Pilsner glasses. I don't really drink Pilsner, though, but I could just to use the glasses. <laughs> I do love those. They have such a neat foot on them. This one is the one with the chip, though. Of course I grabbed the one with the chip. I think the other ones are in decent condition. but um, So I might pack those up. That'll make more room on the shelf. All of these salt and pepper shakers are listed. I don't know if you guys remember when I bought those. They have, I bought 16 sets, and that wasn't even all of them. Um, but I found those at the Goodwill. So maybe I'll snap some pictures and get this cleared off. whole stack here is empty boxes, except for the top one. The top one is the Fitz and Floyd that I took out in my haul the other day. It might be worth uh, getting this photographed so that I can get that out of here. And then over here, Andrew unloaded my car for me this morning, which was very nice. Um, and he brought this stuff over here. I think I, what I want to do today, um, I always feel better when I list the big items. I know Andrew loves shipping the big items, but I have much more peace of mind when uh, the big items are gone and then I'm you know, focused more on the small things. It makes a lot more space. So I think maybe I'll list this. Um, the last one I think sold for $125 and it was a smaller uh, blue lamp. So this one should sell pretty well. This was all yesterday. I don't even know if you guys have seen that video yet. I'm way ahead in um, in videos. I think I'm a week, a week and a half ahead, which I like being. When I was uh, pregnant with Laurel, I did a lot of filming and I got two weeks ahead and it was so nice knowing that like, I don't have to go out and film today. I could just hang out at home and spend time with the kids. Um, so I, I got used to being ahead in videos. And so after I had Laurel, I decided I need to stay ahead. I need to stay way ahead. We have some vacations planned in the future, and um, I'd like to be able to have those videos all set to go and ready to fire off. So, um, so I am really ahead in videos, and I've been putting out the shop videos sometimes before I put out the shopping videos. So sometimes you guys will see stuff and be like, where did that come from? Well, the video hasn't posted yet. It's going to be a few days. These two right here I am going to put in the booth and... Uh, now that we have Jesse working with us, um, Andrew and him are going to focus on stocking the booth next week, which means I can continue to price stuff and uh, we can get stuff loaded off into the booth. Whether it's going to be Carlisle Antique Mall or Bedford Street Antiques, I don't know. Uh, obviously, we just committed to that huge that stage area, which is going to be ideal for glass. So what I might do is price these while I'm here today. And get those boxed up to go over to the booth and this set as well i think might might be well suited for the booth i mean like i think to myself i could probably make more of that if i sell it on ebay but also it's taking up space so if i price it for what i would price it for if i was to list it on ebay it can sit over there for a while and if nobody wants to pay that price for it i can get it back i can list it on ebay but in the meantime it's not taking up space here, it's taking up space over there. So that's kind of trying to like retrain my brain to think that way. Like, oh, well, it's just gonna go stored over there until I potentially get it back and I can list it on eBay. 
So I think I'm going to do that. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with the swung vase. I look at these swung vases and I'm like, you know, I maybe need another one, but do I need another? No, I do not need another one. Like I told you, I filled up my house, so now I have them all in the windows over here at the shop. I have a few of them. Oh, ignore that. Um, <laughs> the finger. Um, I have a few of them up there. I have one of them lurking over there in the corner. There's a couple up here on the shelf. So I've got a ton of swung glass vases. And I have a really, really hard time letting go of them. I consider myself swung glass vase rich at the moment. I'm rich in swung glass vases. And I like it that way. So, all of that being said, I'm going to get some of this glass priced for the booth. Get it boxed up. Get it over in my booth pile. I have a pile of stuff ready to go over there. Um, I was looking for something over here. There was a reason I was over here, but I can't remember what it was. Oh yes, now I remember. In this box is a huge set of china that I purchased yesterday. Um, I went out and I filmed three and a half videos yesterday. Um, that's what most of this is from. Um, and so I need to process this. I mean, Shelby could process it, but I think I'm gonna process it right now. I'm just gonna give it a bath and then get it listed because um, it's a lot. It's a big set of china and even though it's intimidating um, I can list them as quantities and I think there's bowls plates and a covered dish so really that's only three listings I have to do for this giant set but I also have to prep it and I have to get all of the stickers off so I'm going to throw it in a nice warm bath in the sink talk to you guys about my method for removing stickers you can see it works I've got <laughs> got a sink full of stickers um, but I'm gonna clean this out and then we're gonna fill it with warm water and we're just gonna soak those dishes for maybe like five minutes and all of the stickers are just gonna slide right off okay so I am just currently filling the sink up with hot water um, and I'm gonna cover the stickers here and then I have a Scotty peeler but you can see with my fingernails they just come right off once they get warm I think it softens the adhesive and there we go. So I'll use a Scotty peeler, but I'm just going to let those soak for a moment. I'm also going to move this stack of banana boxes over to the sink. Uh, we had a lot of really ratty pieces of newspaper in there. You can kind of see it's all just crinkled up and stuff. But when I bring new stuff into the shop, it's usually wrapped in fresh newspaper. So I cleared out these boxes. There's no newspaper left in them, but we like to have some set aside with newspaper from when we do auction pickups so we can just grab a box and go. So I'm going to put these over by the sink so that as we're unwrapping stuff, we can fill these with fresh paper. Just wanted to show you guys how easy this works. That's it. That's all we got. They've only been in there for like two minutes. They're clean now. I do have a marking. I guess I should be <laughs> take it off the goodwill marking as well. But they are marked here on the bottom. I'm not sure if that'll focus for you guys, but I just love that contrast of the red and the gold on those. I think they're probably Japanese, and I wanted to guess that they were Kutani. But that's just a guess. I'm not sure if that's like a, a phoenix bird. They're just beautiful. <laughs> now let's get these bad boys listed. So they're all in relatively the same condition. There is a little bit more wear on a few of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to photograph um, just a few of them and show the varying stages of condition, which isn't really that great. You can see there's just some gold worn on that. And I'm going to list them as quantity. And we have three, six, seven, eight. There's eight plates, and I think there's a lot more of these. Three, six, nine. So there's ten bowls. Um, and uh, I'm going to get these listed so I can get them out of my way. All right, so not only did I get one large lamp listed, I got this bad boy listed. Um, and then I got the plates listed, the bowls then I found these bowls on the shelf. I bought those at Goodwill a while back. So I feel good about that. I got some of the larger pieces um, photographed so that I could get them up and get them listed. I think that now 
I am prepared to pull stuff off my shelf. I've gotten the mindset now. I'm good. I'm going to pull stuff off the shelf and set it over on that table to price for the booths. Um, like I said, I think that once I'm in the mindset of I can price it how I would price it on eBay, I could stick it over in the booth. If it doesn't sell, then I'll get it back and then I can list it up on eBay at that point. Um, but it is a lot. So I'm going to grab some stuff off the shelves here and take it over and we will get it priced. So I have moved some stuff over here that I'm going to spend some time pricing to put into the antique malls. Um, there's still a few more pieces I want to add, but I think this is a good start. Um, I pulled this off the shelves. When Juliet saw this on the shelves, she really liked it. I got this um, at Shillington a while back. And uh, it had a broken neck, but I just thought that it was really nice quality. It says France on the bottom. I don't know who makes it, but Juliet really liked it. So I think I'm going to bring this home and she could put it on her shelf in her room. So that does a good job at clearing off a lot of the shelving. And actually Shelby just got here, so she's going to be working to process stuff. And I think I'm going to scoot back into my office and I'm going to start listing these things onto on my computer. Um, because it's a lot easier to do it here than to do it at home while I'm sitting in front of the TV. All right, so I managed to get 36 listings here and scheduled. Um, what I'm gonna have to do tonight is go through and add all the photos and then make them live, of course. So 36, I feel pretty good about that. I still have um, photos on my phone that I need to create listings for, but it's currently 4.30 and I probably need to get moving. So you can see that Shelby did get quite a few things done today. The table is <laughs> piled back up just the way it should be. I'm almost done with this cart. After I built 36 listings, I should be almost there. And then I feel like I can go back and uh, unload it onto the listed shelves. I'm um, just checking out what we've got going on here. Cause I know I've got to tackle this in a few days. Oh gosh. Oh, there's two more bowls. <laughs> I listed the other ones. I guess there's uh, two more to include in that. I had wanted to get this stuff priced. Obviously that did not happen today. I spent quite a while uh, sitting at my desk doing listings. So what I'm gonna do with this stuff is I'm gonna snap photos of it because I can create the item in our inventory and then I can print the labels later. So if I can get this stuff priced at least, then when I come in next time, I can just fire off the labels and get all of this stuff labeled. I have to remember to take the zebra today too. Um, I didn't end up packing those glasses up. Maybe I'll do that next time. I had my keys on the cart. And then I thought to myself, I'm going to lose them if they're there on the cart. And then I moved them. <laughs> and I buried them under this. Okay. I'm like, I know they were here. Okay, now we're good to go. Well, I did want to update everyone that Andrew was approved for Whatnot. So um, he is going to be selling his coins over on the Whatnot platform. He does really well selling his coins here through the local antique malls, um, like really well. So I think that Whatnot is going to be a great option for him. I was, I was like, hey, we can set up the office in the front of the house and we can get a desk set up and you can do this and that. And he's like, why? He's like, we just show the table. I'm like, you just show the table? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, so you're not in front of the camera. I guess coin sales, you just like show what you're, you know, here's a coin and you don't actually show yourself, which I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess that's really straightforward and that works. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of you are like, oh, please don't switch to whatnot. I have no intention of switching to whatnot. If I was to get on the platform, it would be to, um, to start getting rid of some of my older inventory. The newer stuff would still be going up on eBay. We have a good thing going with eBay. I think I have like 50,000 followers on eBay who get notified all the time when I list new stuff. So eBay is the platform I'm sticking with. I'm not going to be doing what not sales a lot if I do do them at all. Um, and I'm not gonna be doing live sales. I have no interest in doing live sales. Um, like I said in my previous video, I, f I just feel like the whole vibe around live sales is a little bit toxic and I'm just not here for it. And by that, I don't mean like drama. I don't mean drama. I mean negativity. And I just, I don't need negativity in my life. Um, so 
yeah, I want to put everyone's mind at ease. I'm not going to be switching to whatnot if I do at all. <sighs> but Andrew is over at the Money Pit house. <laughs> I had told you guys that since we're going to ha now have renters, um, I'm going to make that a, a higher priority. So uh, we had the land cleared again. We had the landscaper out there and he ground up all the stumps and he cleared it all out. He was amazed by how much it had grown just this year. Um, I think some of the weeds or the trees were like 12 feet tall and he was like, how did that happen? I don't know. It's just good soil, I guess. Um, so he was out clearing it the other day. And he noticed that um, the air conditioning unit was just encased in ice on the outside of the house. And then he went into the house and that unit was encased in ice. So there's an issue with the air conditioning unit. And Andrew, that's where Andrew is today. He's over at the house waiting on um, the people to show up to look at it. So I'm hoping it's not a serious issue. I, I will say that my ex was in... Um, the trade of HVAC and so I don't know where he got the AC unit that is on the house but when they came to hook it up they're like well this is like seriously overkill I guess it's like in, in a commercial unit um so I don't know if it's too much for the house and that's why it's icing over I know nothing about HVAC but yeah so that's kind of what's been going on over here just dealing with the money pit house and dealing with our house too because our washer and dryer quit working and Everyone's like, well, don't waste your money on a new one. You know, just, you know, they can, you can have an appliance guy come out and fix it. And $1,200 later, it's still not working. And I'm like, so why didn't I just buy a new one? $1,200 later? Did I say 12,000? It was only 1,200, $1,200 um, I have into repairing the washer, dryer. So anyway, um, I'm gonna do some listings here. I'm not sure if I'll pop back on and update you guys anymore today but I'm eager to find out what's going on with the HVAC. So I probably will get an update from Andrew and I'll fill you guys in. Okay, so what did they say about the HVAC? They said that it needed better ventilation, that there wasn't enough of a return. So it was icing over because there wasn't enough airflow essentially. So we had to cut a hole in the wall and put a, like a grate over it. So it's got like a, a return out in the hallway and then we switched the louvered door onto it instead of having a solid door on it. And now it should work just fine. So you cut a hole in the wall? Yes. In the hallway wall? I didn't cut a hole in the wall. <laughs> I had somebody else cut well, a hole Well, I'm glad in the that wall. you clarified because I was a little concerned that you were over there cutting holes in the wall. No, it just, uh, it's just a, just a cutout. And then you, you screw the, 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 the cover to it and it looks like grates. And it's just something that the air can pull from into that into that closet because it just wasn't getting enough air pull. So So now it's not gonna freeze over. It shouldn't. In theory. It shouldn't. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the update, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. You gonna smile over me? Give me a smile. You're very animated. Hi. Hi, you little chonky girl. Yeah. So chonky, so cute. Hello. Hello. I love you. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. All right, I'll guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.